Head man in nautical entertainment. Tell him, know your role and shut your hole, jabroni. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so let's see if you can do some kind of beautiful acrobatic uh, maneuver. So what give would me you an, like from me? i just like an acrobatics check as you scale up the rock. It's a nice smooth... Uh, let's see what happens here. As you do a, a beautiful Ooh. triple linden, sir. Oh, yeah. Triple lindy. So let's see if your attack hits now. Nice hit, Captain. Ten damage. As the peg leg drives right into the top of the skull of the Sohog one, basically forcing it down, slamming your peg down into the ground, pinning his head to the ground as he convulses several times, and then lives a bloody shambled. Fear and not, Mordecai. I am right here beside you. And chat goes wild. And then Wilbur is gonna is gonna <laughs> run up here and try to take out this other one. Okay. Uh, is that other one up there on you and Wilbur dead? Oh, that's it, it, yeah, one of yeah, one, one of them is still. still. Uh, Wilbur Wilbur wasn't engaged with that guy, so he's gonna forget him and come down here towards uh, where okay. Mordecai is. All right, go for it. There would be no yes, you must no attack. That. Go ahead and get a, a claw attack in on, on that guy. Nice hit. Wilbur Another... has hit every time. He yeah. literally hit every time. He missed time. on that double claw. Wilbur oh, slashes. Round, yeah. Wilbur slashes and basically rakes you know, a, a massive portion of the, the flesh away on the Sahuagin as he just falls over dead. Like I said, we've got your covered Mordecai. Killian... Okay. Going to take my battle axe and I'm going to try and cleave this bastard Sawagan in half. You can also everyone can start to hear a boo 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 and it and it looks like uh, to the north uh several of the Sahuagan are running out from the encampment to the north. What and the you, was that, Captain? you, what did you, they say? you recognize them uh, as the as the elders of the the white tribe, basically. Okay. Well, they, he'll take they talk, teams, Zick and Sizz. No, they're 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 uh, uh, they are. It looks like they are help. It looks like they're joining in with the fight. Okay. Killian, that is a hit. You slash for fourteen damage. You finish off the Sahuagan. The crowd goes wild. Killian gets a kill. Oh my god. And then I'm going to spend my move action to go get this guy. Okay. Were you you were running over the that's a, uh That's a long move. Yeah, yeah exactly. You were running over the uh uh the fountain, well correct? The well. Give me an athletics yeah. check jumping over that well. Does um the plus one from Vance's song apply to that skill set no, as well? No, it does, it does just not attack. Get it. It says okay. right in the macro. Attack. Just the plus one. Just the plus one from uh, the boon. Okay, hang on a second. Killian has tried time and time again to get that plus one on every. He, he is... Uh, <laughs> hey, he, he tries hard. I'm going to amend my macro. Attack rolls and anything that Killian says. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, old maid. I just busted your balls there. We've lost Killian. And he's back. Oh, no, he's back. He just got okay. back in. He just got back in. Yeah, hitting backspace while holding the alt button backs me out of the game. Uh, well, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, that's a like pretty that. vicious command from the Tandy 1000. Anytime you do that, anytime you feel I'm like doing that ath there. athletics check, tighten up over there. This ain't 7-Eleven. 
Killian, you you barely make it over the well. It takes an hour to play a card in Cards Against Humanity. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Yay. Poseidon's right. spear comes out of the cloud towards <laughs> Agnes. What do you do? Hot shot. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm Tell deleting the DM my cards. he's digging a bigger hole. Mm hmm. Yep, and that's my turn. All right, Mordecai, you're up. I'm gonna pull out my pop, boom, boom, boom. Uh, No, I'm just kidding. All right, Crow, no problem. I'm going to. Uh... <laughs> you better, you better do something, man. You got blood coming out down your pants leg. Are you sure everything's intact inside there? I'm gonna fall back up here to the well, and I'm gonna hold. Um. Yeah, I'm going to hold right here for the time being. You know, Vance, with, with skills like that, we could put on a great show. You could arc the lightning. I could yeah. say I'm the most electrifying yeah, man in nautical entertainment. Some, I'm not some sort of sideshow attraction for, for, for your monetary gain. Uh, I'll help you with crab legs, man, but I... I won't whore myself out like you're suggesting. There. But you, you are a sideshow attraction for your own monetary like. game. Well, you know, if there's some coin in it for me, I'd rather <laughs> rather get it in a, in a more in a more uh, upstanding way. You know, I've got this old this old bird down at the Blue Oyster. I need to impress. I don't think she'll go in for a chap doing lightning shows at the captain's sideshow attraction. <laughs> <laughs> the admirals, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the admirals. Excuse me. Ag I think Agnes. we sell tons of tickets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe if it's all you can eat crab leg night and you could perform your magic show and play music, Vance, with the captain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll sort out the details later, Cap. We've got more pressing business to attend to right now. Agnes, looks like you've moved. You've uprooted those roots. Moved. Vance. <sighs> Uh, I'm a somewhat exhausted. I kind of blew my wad that last round. Uh, I'm just going to do a, a attempt to keep my song going, as usual. All right. Uh, it's going to be somewhat half-hearted, but... Whoops. Sorry about that. Wrong one. And I keep my song going. Uh, you stay hard, friends. Old dance is here. Never fear. All right, and uh, I'm going to do a battle chant. All right, the rest of your friends are gone. I suggest you die as well. <laughs> 19 versus MD. That is a hit. I assume, I assume that hits. And, uh, it's definitely see. a hit. Nine damage. Uh, uh, thunder damage. Uh, as it, I'm going to try and blow his eardrums out. As it, as it falls dead to the feet of killing him. Brains go spurting out of his head. Ha uh, <laughs> ha. Oh, Vance, saves the day yet again. What would you lot ever do without me, I swear? Nice job, everybody. You guys are out of uh, out of combat. Okay. Oh, these other ones weren't coming to join? Yes, uh, they they got there just in a, just a, a, a tad too late. Oh, uh, okay. All right. I'm well, just going to fall know, down on the ground. As they I... run up. I I'll still... Adorned in a white type of uh, tribal paint. I'll still bow to them and, you know, Sahagwan greeting and, and all of that. I can't make out heads or tails of this, this jibber jabber. Okay, so the Sahagwan are in your presence and they actually seem to be in a, in a bit of distress seeing all of the, you know, their other clansmen dead around you. Seems like they're they they are actually in a in a bit of shock. Dave, while this is going on, I'm gonna use one of my uses of lay on hands on Mordecai. So he gets to spend a recovery or I spend the recovery. He rolls a recovery and adds twice my charisma modifier, so he'll get an extra six. Okay, so don't forget everybody that you're still suffering uh, for the most part from the white from ghost the shivers, ghost. except for it's Captain for Tom. Uh, so you guys go ahead and use your surges if you want. 
and the Sahuagan, which are the, the three elders, Talk, Zik, and Siz. They are now in your presence. And I'm going to spend another recovery on my own day. You yeah, may spend as many as you would like. We can recharge today. Everyone, yep, you can do your recharges for your uh, spells, powers. There's my, my, You're the I only got one my song Vance. back, guys. Old, old Vance is going to keep on singing. Let's see if I can get my lightning OP recharged. It doesn't look like it, uh, nope, doesn't no, look like it. that's not gonna do it. No more lightning today, fellows. So sorry. Not, not to this battle anyway. Maybe, maybe even next battle. That's what I like <laughs> yeah. about recharges. Yeah, well, yeah, you're gonna do it after every battle we can do this. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, you know, when, when they come over, I'm basically gonna be, you know, Greetings, I believe we've, we've met before. boo 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 and they they welcome um, you and and uh, they they did not expect uh, that the other tribe uh, they did not expect them to attack you, but they do go into saying that they are very protective of the well, and a lot of the times that they themselves visit the well visit the well for fresh water, they are also attacked, and you can that's see no trouble at all. There's the, uh, you know just. Go ahead, Captain. I'm sorry. There'll just be few of them left to fight later on. Well, there's about, uh, I would say, 50 yards to the north, which is in this direction. You can see that there is the gate to where, you know, uh, the elders came from, Talk, Zik, and Siz. And to the south on this trail down here, you can see that, you know, 50 yards or so, there is uh, another walled what appears to be another walled community down that way. Seems like the, the well is basically the middle point or the middle ground of, of both of these these okay. uh, locations. <laughs> and talk, you know, does uh, thank you for coming. Uh, he, th they were hoping for better circumstances. Uh, they did not expect uh, their clansmen to to attack you. They had a uh, somewhat of a uh, a discussion. They they describe it as a discussion uh, the day before, and things kind of went sour, and the sides parted ways. They did know that you were coming though, but they did not know that they were going to attack. Well, as as I said before, that's. We, we are here in hopes of a peaceful resolution to this conflict. However, if it does come down to a fight, there's just less of them now than there were before. Now that we're finally here, why don't we get down to business of helping you solve this crisis? And they're in full agreement. And, uh, you know, they welcome you into their encampment, their temporary home, uh, and they turn to, you know, guide you. And you can see that there are several other uh, Sahawagan that are coming out. They look like they're more shaman type, probably to do some kind of rites or, or, or possibly uh, to, to bury the dead out here. Now, as you, as, as everyone kinds of turns towards... Uh, the encampment, all of a sudden, everything starts to shake, and and you're you're starting to feel the ground shake beneath you. And it, everybody, give me a acrobatics check to see if you Everyone fall and get stumble. Down, the crack it again. <laughs> Mark that down, Scarlet. <laughs> So as, as this is going on for for quite some time, and there's a there's a time where it starts to settle down, and then all of a sudden it starts back up again. Uh, Agnes, you go down to the ground. You're in a uh, a prone position. Vance, you also go down. As you go down, as everybody's looking around, you know the trees are swaying. Uh, you can see a lot of birds flying up from the trees. And as this is happening, you look to the south. And you can see that the earth is just breaking where the, 
the tribe to the south is. And now you can start to hear screams of terror. And you can see what appears to be... You're not sure what it is, but it looks like it has a... It looks like a mouth as it appears probably 50 feet over the entire area. Slowly, looks like it just crushes the entire area and as it goes back into the ground dust is coming up everywhere and okay. you're you're not sure what has just happened but captain yes i've seen a crack and that ain't no cracking no oh, that's just a different type of cracking than what you <laughs> know it's, it is the it's one of those subterranean crackings or something right captain yes those are earth crackings <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm quite all the... Krakens come in all shapes and sizes, Mordecai. I'm quite the expert in the Kraken uh, species, and I can tell you with certainty that is an Earth Kraken. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are these things laying below us that we've just off cap? Uh, the the, the two legged upright Krakens or whatever? So no, those those were land kraken. The earth and <laughs> land are two separate, very right. different varieties of kraken. <laughs> right, right. The earth kraken, you day see, are you, my the earth krakens are much older, much larger, and much more dangerous. They uh, were initially the enemies of Saltbeard. That's why he cast them out of the sea I into the earth. Yeah. Now the earth krakens have uh, dwelled underneath civilization for many years. Off a bit. Land krakens, however, are, are much newer, much smaller creatures. They have tentacles. Well, you know, we, we fought them. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Krakens everywhere, Cap. Yes, yes. What are these devils saying here? Uh, I can understand a word of it. As several of the Sahawag, and they're, they're picking themselves up off of the ground, the dust is, is thick, and the, the, the dust is starting to come out here. And now it looks, uh, as you look to the south, some of the dust is starting to settle a little bit, and you can see large shards of earth coming out, you know, coming out of, uh, you know, the ground. You can see that there is a uh, a new, uh, I, I want to say sort of like a, uh, like a, like an arch from some civilization just appeared out of nowhere, uh, uh, like a broken, ruined arc, you know, like an arch. But, as the dust starts to settle even more, you notice that the encampment is totally gone. It's the red it, encampment. The right. the red encampment, yes. Okay. And the Sahawagan are just in amazement. Where the camp was. I'm actually going to go look for survivors, if there are any. Okay. Well, these devils are just trying to kill us, kid. What what I'm going to do is I'm going to look towards the uh, whoever's the leader. I don't know if it's Tick Tock. That was it's talk. Yeah. What do you need? What do you talk. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to look towards him and Insa Hog and say, Well, I've got bad news for you there, Tuck. It appears you've got a severe earth kraken problem. However, standing before you is the world's leading expert in earth kraken. I think we can solve this together. He, he just doesn't know what to say, Captain. Uh, and he... He just doesn't know. He, he looks at you and he asks you, Is... Is our village next? Oh, of course not. The the Earth Kraken are good creatures by nature. They only attack. Uh, the, <laughs> the I'm the just kidding. <laughs> so, um, what you see here is that Earth Kraken there has solved our problem without uh, having to use diplomacy or force. Um, or it's rather unfortunate for for those Hogan. I suppose. However, I don't expect you'll have any more trouble. With the water, that is. Perhaps with the earth cracking, but I doubt it. Dave, did you get my tell? I did. Uh, yeah, possibly, yes, Killian. Yes, what are you telling these fools? Oh, I'm just informing them of the fact that, uh, I'm a leading expert in Kraken, and all oh, matters Kraken. God. Are, you, are you seriously conversing with these, with these these things about your Kraken, man? Come on, we have matters of import here. This damn living dungeon of Killian's apparently is, is eating a hog in villages left and right. Uh, maybe it wants to eat this one for supper. I'm sure they're quite worried about it. Sam, shut up and just amend the map. Well, yeah. they, they okay, are... I will do that, fair maiden. You 
it tends Vance, to wounds there. It seems that they are very concerned that their village is next. However, I'm not so certain. I believe that this Earth Kraken was doing the right thing. He knew that uh, there was a problem on the island, and he decided to solve it himself. <laughs> Captain, I, I don't think that that makes much rational sense. <laughs> really, Captain, uh, I, I'm starting to doubt your sanity a little bit, man. Uh, we've all been talking about this living dungeon since McCrackle first broached the subject, and and we went through that whole village. You, you don't mean to say that that those architectural structures from from Dwarfville and, and Glitterhagen or wherever the devil the, these fools are from it, it is tied to Kraken activity or something, do you? Uh, well, how far will you take this this Kraken thing, man? Well, when you think about it, when you really stop and think about it, Vance, everything's tied to Kraken activity. <laughs> okay, can, I, can, can anybody else speak so hog and damn it? I think the man's lost it finally. No, no, I haven't lost anything. I've got everything right You've here. You've lost your ship, you fool. <laughs> well, that's Whoa, to be determined. Ouch. <laughs> but for now, Vance, Is I that an official shots fired? You let me of do course. the talking to these friendly fish people. <laughs> All right, Cap. All right, I'm going to sit here by the whale and, and, and give Agnes a foot massage. All right, Agnes, off of those boots. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Alright. The offer is off the table, madame. Alright. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alright, so the, the dust's starting to clear. You can see that, you know, like I had mentioned before, that that small you know, village is gone. You know, there's no clue of anything left. There's just broken pillars and columns and half of an arc of an arch from some civilization. You know, this, what appears to be a, a, a massive, it looked like a uh, it looked like a uh, like a mountain or, or a huge rock just with a, with a mouth and teeth just slowly just engulf and just non-stop. It, it was just one action. Just it's like going back down to the earth didn't even slow it down. Like a you know like a like a purple worm would have to burrow. You know it at least have to burrow, but it just pushed right back <laughs> down into the ground. I mean it was it was the most amazing thing as, as I can describe as what you've mm -hmm. ever seen before. You know and as this and there's still a lot of dust everywhere. You know broken trees and you know grass from another area that that you have not seen on the island all kinds of plants uh, have, are just now in this spot you know several you know, outcroppings of rocks as well yes Mordecai do any, do, do, do any of them understand common no they do not understand they not be able to speak it, they no they don't they they've been basically speaking through Captain Tom because Tom Captain Tom's actually had run-ins with the Sahuagin before, and and plus he has the linguistics feed as well. So, right, Captain Tom, I, I I think that it may be a smart move what, what, until we what, can get okay. until we can get to the bottom of what's going on. Uh, with this, as you call it, land cracking or earth cracking. Until we can get to the bottom of what's going on with this cracking, I think it may be a smart idea that we remove these people from their village and we ask them to come back into Gastron Point and talk it over with the uh, commandant there, whatever you need to, whatever you need to do to smooth that over with him. Master Sergeant, I'm but sure you could just barge right yeah. in, Mordecai, and tell him that. I'm sure he'd love to see you. <laughs> Mordecai, I'm not. I'm not about to put all these damn things up in my shanty, man. No, no way. I veto that idea flat out. If that was the living dungeon, we should evacuate everyone for, except the military personnel and us off this island. Once we have equal joy, we can well, as I told you before, that's an earth kraken, not this living dungeon, as you call it. But I do agree that a tactical decision needs to be made. I suggest we evacuate everyone from everywhere until we solve this matter. 
I'm thinking the only way that we can kill this thing is to starve it. Very Seems good. Be... Start gathering up all the rocks you can find. It clearly survives on rocks. If we take away all the rocks from this place, it can't eat. Well, apparently it eats the hog and villages as well, Captain. It eats cities. Did you not just see it consume that entire village? Hey, yes, ma'am. I think this is exactly what this, the peaceful tribe of Spawagan was speaking of. Then perhaps I have an idea. We've used this technique when combating other types of kraken. Perhaps we lay out a trap. Something we want it to eat. We set it up nice and pretty, and when it comes out of the earth and swallows it, something happens. I don't. I haven't got that far ahead yet, but we've we've used gunpowder in the past. We've used uh, you know oil. Do you think when... the the this living dungeon uh, has a taste for owl bears, Captain? Maybe we could uh, you know lash Wilbur up to a tree or something, and it'll go after. <laughs> I well, say this I, a little bit I under my like breath, out a, of Wilbur's hearing. That's a bad idea for for many reasons. Um, but the way I see it, we've got about three options here. Hey, hang man, what's up? Two of them I consider good. One of them I consider very bad, but I'll submit it as well. <laughs> okay, please dish. Please. For your consideration. First off, and possibly the easiest option, would be to evacuate the Sahagun village as well as the civilians from Gaster's Point, including my good friend Lynn Post Bent Kettle from the Crab Shack. Um, we evacuate well, them all. We call in the Archmage and the higher forces here. Well, I can say the Emerald Queen. There's no ships that can hold the entire populations of both the Sahagan village and the civilian population of Gaster's Point, surely. Well, we can figure something out. Like I said, we'll send a missive off to the Archmage and see what he has to say. That's option okay. one. Okay. Now let me proceed to option two. Option two, we take up my specifically designed Kraken fighting technique, set up some sort of explosive bait, and try to take this thing on that way. And now option three, the one that seems very foolish and I don't like very much, but it is still an option. We use ourselves and some of the other military men here as bait. We allow the thing to consume us, and we kill it from the inside out. I should think Killian and Agnes would rather enjoy going inside the belly of the beast, so to speak, and, and, and cutting guts up from the inside out. What do you think, Agnes? That sound, that sound like, a, like a plan to you? I'm not the squeamish one around blood. We're Kai, I think we have one thing. vote for that last <laughs> How about you, Mordecai? Feeling, feeling up to a bit of a gullet diving? Uh, I vote plan number one. But the, again, where we're going to evacuate them to? We have no idea how long it will take to get in touch with the Archmage. And according yeah. to Killian, the whole island will be eaten by then. Man. That's just a chance we have to take. We go back to Gaston's Point. So you vote, you vote one. Okay. How about you, Killian? What, what, what do you think? Torquemada said it might be the only way Killian could hit the damn thing is to be eaten by it. <laughs> Killian swinging that sword like Ray Charles with an Uzi. <laughs> Or Stevie Wonder with a paintbrush at WizKids. That's it. I think the first thing we need to do regardless is to get these people back to somewhere safer than where they are now. So you vote the for plan number one. Evacuation. But we might also have to go inside this thing. So I'm between one and three. Uh, again, at the very least, we need to contact the Archmage and get these people out of here. Okay, all right. Bad so a combination, a combination of one and three seems to be what everybody's uh, kind of hankering for, Cap. I'm with you guys, whatever you choose to do. I, I kind of like the second idea, uh, to be honest with you. I don't know a damn thing about explosives, but if we could get some and uh, maybe blow the damn thing's head off at a safe distance, uh, it seems like a plausible uh, way to go. I don't know. Can you elaborate more about this explosion plan? Well, sure, Vance. I, I created this method back when I sailed the Iron Sea. Um, what you would have trouble with was Krakens coming out of the water and attempting to swallow your ship whole. 
So what you would do is you'd make a dummy ship. You'd sail it out there, but the ship wouldn't be full of crewmen. It'd be full of gunpowder and oil. Uh -huh. Then when the Kraken came up and swallowed the ship, you'd simply shoot the barrel with one of your cannons or spark it with a torch and send the Kraken to the depths. It's right. very simple, really. The only trouble here is well, do not we, dealing with do sea Do we Kraken. honestly think that, that this living dungeon or earth Kraken or whatever the devil it is, it can be harmed, uh, uh, you know, fatally by such a, a, a plan? I, I am somewhat unsure. Killian, do you know how to dispatch one of these living dungeons, if that indeed is what this is? Uh, any the, any I'm, stories I'm assuming about that would be a... A history check to see if I even remotely knew anything about that on, on how uh, to defeat. Yeah, like you, can a, you can give me a. You can give me a. Give me a history check and you, and add another uh, plus two onto that as well because because of your previous recollection of you know li living dungeons and whatnot. God, these bonuses are the only thing that are saving me. That was a six on the D twenty, but total of fifteen. Not too shabby. Also, can I make an insight check to see if this might be something that the Lich King might be controlling to try and find? I don't know how you could his you mausoleum. Determine that. Um. Uh, Probably not, because of the lore that you know of the Lich King. He literally has no power here on the Island of Omen, and this okay. goes back to okay. this goes back to the first stage when he was actually defeated uh, by the humans, the dwarves, and the elves. You know, his his basically his power was banned from from Omen. Okay, it it was just a thought that kind of came to me with all of this because. You know, with everything that we did last time and, you know, this, it, it seemed like a logical conclusion. Vance, to answer your question, in my humble opinion, to quote a friend of mine and fellow pirate, if it bleeds, we can kill it. So I believe and that... Have we seen blood spurting out of this thing, Captain? That, that, that's the whole reason I, I brought this up. I mean, it seems to be made out of rocks. I mean, a, exploding the damn thing would probably just... It yeah, it looked it, like it a temporarily slow it down. It, it looked like a massive more. It looked yeah. like just like a mountain massive like mountain you know, with a mouth and just, you know, well, just basically case, engulf the entire area. You know, 50 yard vote, radius. Right. My Huge. vote would be that we immediately contact the archmage and await his response, because... Uh, don't we need a seagull or something to get in touch with Dodge, maybe? Oh, I've got uh, plenty of seagulls. That's oh, no problem. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. do you just keep him in your coat? Um, As he says that, a seagull flies out from under his arm. On a side... Doves, side. just like we Jim Dark not. Magic no, doves. We're, we're, we're but we're in, in, in captains, okay. it's, it's seagulls. Do okay. Doves yes, are copyrighted like big... by Acquisitions Incorporated. We okay. are seagulls. Enough. He had he had like a big you know Santa Claus bag over his shoulder just full of seagulls. Right, one, <laughs> one of the one of those canvas bags. What do you feed them? Burlap sacks like you filled up with the crab legs, right? Oh, I don't you, you know. You keep bags about you all the time. Wilbur takes care of the seagulls. I I just tell him to keep them around. So if we ever need to send messages, it's right. it's easy. Carrier seagulls. All right, cool. so uh, right, mills on wheels. Plus the Armada gonna... office, I'm sure would probably have. Several there also. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sure they would love a visit from Captain Tom Flint. I'm sorry, Admiral yeah, yeah. Captain Tom Flint. Yeah, Cap, if we, if we do have to go down to that damned office, don't give Wendy any shit about your damn books, man. Oh, you they'll know, hear about We don't want to get her angry. You know how these bureaucrats are. Any challenge to their authority, and they get their feathers all up in a ruffle, man. Oh, I'll tell them about the books. They'll hear no end about the books. <laughs> but then we'll get down to business. Uh, but then, let's get down to business, and then we'll talk about the books uh, at, a, at a later date. Tell us. Yeah, we'll yeah, while we order. have the Sahagwan here, Captain, why don't you ask them if they know anything about this water problem and why this well is clean while nothing else isn't? All right. Say there. Talk. Thank you very much, you know you're in 44. Thank problem. you very much. Why is your well clean and the rest of them all filled with salt? 
talk relays back to you and Sahuagin that he believes that it has to do with this. And I'm going to send you a message. Well, talk that wasn't very helpful. He, 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 he mentions... I, he mentions... I, I he, he mentions the serpent people with legs. He, 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 he what? calls them a serpent people with legs. And talk says that there is much to explain because not only are the remaining Sahagwan in danger, but you yourselves are in danger and also Gastron's point. There is something that was disturbed on this island and it is awake and it is not happy and it wants its island back. Are you telling me that the snake people are real. Yes, they have evolved and now they have legs. Oh no. What is All right. What is it? I've well, you're not going to believe this, but according to this here fish man, the <coughs> snake people are real. Ah! Uh, listen, listen, listen to him, fellows. I told you that the old dirty cackles was right. Yeah, I trusted him all along. Captain, you yourself even thought lighter of his words. <laughs> I did, and now we've been proven wrong here. It seems that snake people are not only alive and well on this island, but they're apparently some sort of severe threat to us. Uh, talk here says that there's much to discuss. Um, I don't know exactly where that puts us for our evacuation plan, but if there's snake people on this island, I want to know about it. You, do, you don't mean to evacuate the snake people as well, do you, Cap? Well, that all depends. Assuming they're friendly. I if the snake people are friendly, <laughs> I'll evacuate Dirty McCackle's report seem, seemed a little bit... Uh, <laughs> and possibly the frog people. Yeah, we, we have frog people too, according to you and old Mordecai there, Cap. We, we're not going to discriminate against anyone here. We're going to get the frog people, the snake people, the fish people, and the regular people. Everybody's going back on the boat. We're getting everybody out of here. Hey, Dave. Not yeah, Mordecai. Not here. Mm -hmm. can, we, uh, can we take a break? Absolutely. I was just fixing to bring that up, Mordecai. So let's take yeah. a, uh, a break. I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes or so. All right. Thanks, and we'll, we'll continue on. Because something something is happening uh, as we as we are discussing uh, with the Sahuag and uh, Captain Tom relaying everything back to the party, you are being approached by another Sahuag. So, you and guys we'll that. were just fixing to, you guys were talking with a Talk, Zik, and Siz. These three Sahuag uh, are definitely in distress. They're wondering when their village is going to be next. So, uh, a little parlay with the captains raging on about earth krakens and whatnot. Uh, the Sahawagan invites you into the village. Uh, they, you know, they, they do want to have a meeting with you. They talked about they, they did find an, an ancient serpent race that once dwelled here on the island of, of Omen. And they wish to, there's many things to discuss with you. Uh, I, you know, they feel that, you know, not only the, the, the remaining part of their tribe, but also you and Gastron's Point are in danger. It's just, and, and how they worded it, uh, Captain, was it's just a matter of time before they break free. So, as everyone starts to, looks like they're starting to head towards the encampment, uh, that, you know, there's several of the Sahuagun that, you know, uh, were in this village. There's one, you know, kind of crawling his way down the path, all bloodied. Looks like he's separated from the, from the torso. You know, from the waist down, no legs, just kind of grabbing his way, just you know, just pulling himself. You know, and and you know, several of the you know the the elders, talking Zick says they all go over to assist him, and he's you know got you know innards hanging out of him, not not in good shape. 
at all. Here, I can help him. I'm an expert in medicine. Let me get over there. <clears throat> and what what would you like to do, Captain Tom? I'll I'll ask him. What seems to be the problem, sir? <laughs> The Sahawagan, uh, they just look at you and say that they will take care of the matter and thank you. <laughs> but this is one of their, their one of hurt? their tribes. <laughs> Where does it hurt? What was that in major pain? I can't feel my legs. They're not there, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this, this guy has yeah. the Sahawagan has has no legs from the waist down. You know, it's basically his, his innards are. Hanging out of him as alterds now, and he he's in pretty good shape. Oh, you'll be shit. fine. I I knew a man with no legs once. We called him No Leg Joe. He served with me for a while. You can hear them talking amongst one another as they're, you know, picking him up and taking him back. You you know you could hear them saying that there were probably several more survive possible survivors back there. Well, I'm going to go see if I can find It's up to you guys. Do you want to go with do, Now you have the choice. Do you want to go with, you know, do you want to go with Tox, Zick and Sis back to the camp or it, it's up to you because there are several Sahuagan that are going out to look for survivors. The Sahuagan that are there tending I, to the the injured and dead that you guys have just killed them, uh, they're they're heading out to the area of where the 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 camp used to be for the, you know, the, the red faction, basically. Well, fellas, sh should should we maybe go with Killian here and and, and get a look at the, the aftermath of this uh, living dungeon, Earth Crack, and whatever the devil it is, uh, and think, see firsthand uh, what it's capable of? I think it's a bad idea, all the way around. Uh, I, right. I I would suggest that Thank you, I'm the only Graham. person who can talk to the Sahagwan, that I stay here and do exactly that. If you would like to go over there and search around, I, I don't see why not. But uh, we've got a man with no legs here who needs medical attention, and I'm the only one who can provide that. So I need to stay here. Yes. And Dave, uh, I look around. Is there any particularly attractive Sahagan females in this village? Uh, as you start to enter the village, no. The they are hard to distinguish between the male and the female. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, I've had such problems before, man. I, I'll just, I'll just roll with it. That's my style. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I'm gonna, I'm so gonna Mordecai, out. you're, you're not going then. You're, you're gonna stay here in the village. I mean, it's a, it's a nice size encampment. Uh, I mean, who's going and who's going?